Pauline. Good morning. Hello. My name is Sivu Yulengesi. I'm an actor comedian, but I have nothing funny to share with you today. I'm a South African. I'm a brother. I'm a son. I'm a man. I'm an uncle. I'm a future father. I feel my duty is to protect. I feel I have failed. It hurts me deeply to admit that I am part of the problem. That I have laughed at rape jokes, that I have made rape jokes, that I have commented, that I have stayed a few seconds too long. That I have turned a blind eye to men crossing the line, that I have crossed the line and gotten away with it. See, the thing is, it's not just about her saying yes. It's about making sure definitely making sure that she said yes. It's about making sure that consent becomes sexy. Now usually this is where in the talks like these they would have stats up. Stats everywhere just to be able to show how bad the problem is. One in so many women are raped, so and so. But I don't give a, I don't give a damn about numbers or stats, or graphs, because one lady raped is one lady too many. Every time I see a stat, or I hear of someone being raped, I always think of my, my niece, my nephew, my mother, and it personalizes it. It hits home. There's a song that gets it perfect. It hurts like brand new shoes. My, my niece is the love of my life, totally love of my life. There's not many things or people that I love more than I love myself. <laughs> but we were at a church the other day. We were in a church, yes, it was a special occasion, and my niece was playing around me. She was right here, and for a split second, I couldn't see where my niece was. And I panicked because she wasn't in my reach. But I was in a bloody church, and I was still panicking. I stood up and I looked around while everyone was seated and I couldn't see where my niece was. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was so angry and I was, I was panicked. And I thought to myself, this world we live in is an evil place. And a lot of these monsters who are around are just normal people. But I went to church. And these monsters are normal people. Gone are the days when we used to teach our kids or when I was taught when I was younger that it was stranger danger, stranger danger. No more. Because a lot of the times the danger is in their homes, the danger is in their dance classes, the danger is in their churches. We men will fight because someone spilt our drink. We men will fight because someone said something. We men will fight because someone looked at us in a way we did not like. We will fight because we just want to fight or we want to show that we can fight. But we're not joining the fight that we need to join. Why don't we men jump head first into a fight worth fighting for? A fight that we, I repeat, that we are losing. A fight that we men have always thought is not our fight. It's their fight. Dear men, remember something very clearly. When some men rape, all of us men pay the price. Stats. I'm sure a lot of you are asking yourselves, why am I here? Why am I here? I am here not to get any brownie points from ladies. As you can see, I'm brown enough as it is. <laughs> I'm here because I've had enough. I'm here because I want to start an army, men. I want to start one powerful army that will join me and fight this bloody war because our ladies need us. I'm here to recruit you. 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 I'm here to recruit you to help me build this bloody army. And our weapons of mass destructions are here, 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 and no more here. I'm here to build an army. Please join my army. No, 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 no. Please join our army. I'm here to build an army, guys. Please join me, man. Like I'm sick and tired of this nonsense. Something needs to give. Like I live in South Africa. 
one of the be most beautiful countries in the world. And we have beat a monster before. We beat the monster of apartheid. By beating the apartheid, we did it by gathering together and beating this monster. I believe that we as a country can beat this war by all of us men uniting and attacking. I'm here to recruit you. Dear rapists, we are coming for you. I'm not calling for violence. But I can vouch for you that if I ever caught anyone doing anything to my niece or anyone in my family, for any lady that is, I would be willing to kill and pay the price. But that is a short-term answer to a long-term problem. A lot of people doubted that we as South Africans can beat apartheid. They doubted that we could. But we did it. We can beat this monster with his rape. Margaret Thatcher once said, that very opinionated lady said, if anyone believes that the ANC can ever rule South Africa or become the government in South Africa, they're living in cuckoo land. I'm currently enjoying cuckoo land, thank you very much. <laughs> Martin Luther King is not the only person who had a dream. I have a dream. I want to live in a world where we don't have to tell ladies what they're allowed to wear. That ladies should be careful about what they wear, where they wear it, where they walk, with whom they walk, how much they drink. Has their drink been spiked? I want to live in a world where a lady can walk down the street drunk and naked and the only thing she deserves is one, to drink some water because she's going to have a hangover tomorrow. <laughs> Two, to be safe. And three, to be clothed. We men turn a blind eye to men doing some other things. We turn a blind eye because we don't want to be kicked out of the boys' club. How about we men join the big boys' club, the men's club? If the boys' club, let's do something. I end off by saying, the other day I was at a rape march for anti-rape. And there was one lady, Oliswa, and Oliswa told her story of how she got raped. She was 13 years old, and she got raped by five men. As soon as she was finished, they were finished, she ran home to her mother to tell her mother that she was raped by five men. And her mother said, this is what happens to girls like you. Oliswa was a, is a lesbian. When did lesbians become word documents that need correcting? Another lady, Julia, one day woke up in the morning surrounded by three men in an unfamiliar space or a room. These men had spiked her drink and raped her all night. She still sees these monsters every few days and they greet her religiously. At this march, all the ladies were singing a song. Senzenina, Senzenina, Senzenina. Senzenina, Senzenina, Senzenina. It's an old apartheid song that black people used to sing. It simply means, what have we done? What have we done? What have we done? What have we done? It gave me goosebumps, it angered me, and I realized that this is just like apartheid because these women are being oppressed in their own country. And they continued, Senzenina, 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 Senzenina. What have we done? What have we done? What have we done? Senzenina. All I want to say to all the women out there, you guys have done nothing. It's time us men man the fuck up and do something because this is bullshit. Thank you. <laughs>